Happy New Year's everyone. I hope you had a wonderful holiday spending time with family and bringing in the new year. The holiday time for me is always super busy. I have like minimum five family Christmas events to go to so I'm always running around at this time but nevertheless I do love this time of year. Other than spending time with family I love a new year and I love a fresh start. If you don't know me personally I am a planner and I thrive for planning for the new years whether it's resolutions, goals, things to work on, hobbies to learn or pick up, I live for it. And so through this video, I'm gonna share all of those with you. Also, during the holidays, my family got a Christmas surprise that I'll be sharing with you at the end of this video. So trust me, you'll wanna stick around for that. But I'd also love to hear what you guys are planning and working on for 2023, whether it's places you're gonna travel to or you know things you're working on in your personal life. Leave it in the comments below. You'll probably get my brain stirring and I'll end up adding more to my 2023 list. But let's get started. So when it comes to travel, overall I have the same two goals every year, to travel to one new domestic place and to travel to one new international place. Last year, me and my family were able to take one giant domestic trip. We visited South Dakota, including Mount Rushmore, Custer State Park, and Badlands National Park, which is so underrated in my opinion. I absolutely loved it in South Dakota. We visited Wyoming, including Devil's Tower, Yellowstone National Park, and Grand Teton National Park, which was absolutely breathtaking. I recommend adding it to anybody's travel list, especially for 2023. Make it there as soon as you possibly can. And finally, Colorado's Rocky Mountain National Park. With this one trip, I was easily able to check off one new domestic place for the year. For 2023, I don't have any specific plans, but I am looking at the Las Vegas area and visiting Death Valley. Nothing's booked yet, but I think that is going to be my one new domestic place for the year. So if you have any other recommendations, please let me know. Unfortunately, I was not able to make it to any new international places this year, so hopefully that will change with this new year. I do already have my ticket booked to see my best friend in the whole world in her home country, Honduras. Last time I visited her was January 2020. We went to Roatan and that was right before the pandemic hit, so I haven't seen her since. So I'm super excited to be visiting Honduras and seeing her. As for a new country, I do have my eyes set on Peru. I'm currently planning a trip and I hope to be actually booking it and taking it for around springtime. So I'm super, super excited for that one. Something else in 2022 that I was not able to do that is transferring to my 2023 travel goals is to take a solo trip, take an organized group trip, and take my first trip in my van. Taking a solo trip is something I've always wanted to do. I don't always have someone to travel with who has the same time off as me, has the same budget as I do, wants to do exactly what I want to do. So I really want to get into solo traveling. One YouTuber I watch, she motivated herself and it stuck with me by saying, would you rather go by yourself or to never have went at all? And I definitely would rather go by myself. So I'm using that to motivate me for 2023 into taking my first solo trip. So if you have any solo traveling tips, especially as a girl, please leave them in the comments below. I can't say I'm not nervous about this because I definitely am. On the other hand, I would love to take an organized group trip. I would love to travel and meet with like-minded people. So if anybody has recommendations on trips that they have personally done themselves, I've been looking at companies like EF College Breaks and Contiki, um, but I know a lot of travel influencers and creators are kind of doing their own group trip so if you have any recommendations please let me know i would love to hear about it okay so that wraps it for my travel goals now on to say sarah when it comes to say sarah i have a couple of goals for the year firstly is to get monetized on my youtube channel i am currently 1000 watch hours away from achieving this so make sure you keep watching my videos loop them play them for your dog play them for your grandma it's much appreciated Secondly, I would love to land my first collaboration or sponsorship for Say Sarah, and maybe even my Instagram. So if you don't already, make sure you go ahead and give me a follow there. And lastly, I love having measurable goals. So my last goal for Say Sarah is to have 10,000 subscribers. I feel like this is super ambitious because I'm barely above 1,000, but my goal for 2022 was to have 100 subscribers which I achieved after posting my first van build video. So I bumped that goal up to a thousand, which I also quickly achieved. So this year I'm gonna shoot for the stars. I'm aiming for 10,000. So we'll look back and see if I actually achieve that or not. 
Which reminds me, if you haven't subscribed, you should go subscribe now. And that brings me to van life. My ultimate goal for van life is to finish the van build. Hopefully that won't take me all of 2023, but that's the first step is to finish that and then finally hit the road and start traveling. That about sums up my New Year's goals when it comes to travel, say Sarah, and van life. I would love to hear some of your New Year's goals and resolutions, so drop those in the comments below. Thanks for sticking around. New van build video dropping soon. In the meantime, enjoy some of my holiday highlights and my family's Christmas surprise. Ruby likes jelly beans. Go. Ruby will Ruby, eat anything. Eat your jelly bean. This was my side. We have the gingerbread windows, the peppermint door, and a nerd wreath. When we make our way to this side for our melted Jolly Ranchers. I was envisioning a melted mosaic Sangrada Familia vibe. It's not giving that at all. And then we have my shingles on the side. Luke used my melted Jolly Ranchers for his Sangrada Familia side, his latest edition, and his nerd roof. Beautiful. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, that's nice. What is this for? Read the card. <laughs> <laughs> Promoted from dog grandparents to human grand. Oh! You broke it! <laughs> oh, she's gone. She's gonna be gone. I'm gonna have a baby! I'm gonna have a baby! <laughs> no. I told you she'd jump up and yeah. down. Congratulations, that's awesome. <laughs> She's been waiting on that. She's been waiting on that. Uh, is this oh, shit. You're mother, you're she, she's like, you're uh, busting out of your shirt. It's like dog wood. It was licorice. Poo.